Hi friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. So today I am coming at you with my first ever Black Friday wish list for 2017. So I've never done this before. Essentially what I'm going to do is just tell you all the things that I hope go on sale, fingers crossed, hopefully they do, for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I'll leave a link to everything down below. And then if it does go on sale, as the time comes up because we're like in the first week of November I'll update if I can find like the best sales and the best deals because sometimes Sephora but I know Ulta has really really good Cyber Monday Black Friday deals actually Sephora does have Black Friday deals my Ulta you guys have to tell me if you're Ulta here in LA they actually open Thanksgiving evening which I think sucks for employees like they open at like 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving can't really enjoy Thanksgiving if you work there but if you're looking Looking for good deals if you go into the store you can pick them up so I'll leave a link to everything I mentioned down below I'll just put pictures on the screen some of the things I actually already own but I want to buy them on Black Friday so I can give them as gifts to other people so let's jump in alright so if you see me looking down I'm just looking at my computer screen because I have a list here first up from Sephora I have not tried any of Kat Von D's eyeshadows. I'm trying to think if I have. I've tried her foundation, her liquid lipsticks, which I really like. I did review videos on those. They're super old, like two or three years old when it first came out. If I can find them on my channel, I'll leave a link to them down below. But I've never tried any of her eyeshadows. And I want to try the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. It retails right now for 62 bucks, but I guarantee you when they have a sale, it's gonna be more affordable. And the colors just look beautiful, and I love the packaging, how it kind of looks like a cathedral. What is that, like a church, a cathedral? The colors look beautiful. You guys know, I mean, look at me right now. I am not a neutrals girl. I literally, what do I have on my eyes? I have green, blue, pink eyeshadow, and purple lipstick. I mean, I love color. Like, my favorite palette right now is, actually, it's the Jaclyn Hill palette, because I love the colors in there. But my ride or die is the Urban Decay Electric palette. Like, that's my vibe. Like, neons, greens, pinks, blues. So I'm really excited to try this palette. And it just, the colors look amazing. If any of you have tried it, you have to let me know what you think of it if you already have it. I'm hoping that goes on sale. If it doesn't go on sale, I'll probably still buy it because I really want to try that. Um, to keep with the themed kits, I was thinking if the Huda Beauty the Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette goes on sale, I'll pick it up. It looks beautiful. I've heard so many mixed reviews about it. It's expensive. It's $65. How many shadows do you get in there? 3, 6, 9, 12... What is that? 15? It looks like 18 shadows. They all look really pretty. If any of you have tried that, let me know. I really love the colors in there. I'm thinking about probably doing that. Also, the Sephora Favorites Perfume Sampler. I actually sent this out in my newsletter. If you guys don't know, I do have a blog, and I'm trying to post three times a week on there. I really enjoy blogging. It's just NikkiBeautyBliss.com. I'll leave a link to it down below, but I do blog three times a week, and I also have a newsletter where I just talk to you guys about what's going on. I send you updates. It's just once a week, so if you want to sign up for that, I'll leave a link to the newsletter down below. So I mentioned to my newsletter peeps, I was like, I really love the perfume sampler from the Sephora Favorites. It retails for $65, but what I love about that is that you get to try out so many different high-end perfumes and decide which ones you like, and whichever you don't like, you can pass on. Let's see. It has Chloe in there. They have Elizabeth and James, which I know I love. It has the Giorgio Armani perfume, Gucci Bamboo. Kat Von D has a perfume? I didn't know that. It has Marc Jacobs, whatever, Tom Ford, Tori Burch. I mean, there's a lot of samples in there. And if you know, I feel like I'm talking really fast. Let me take a sip of water, friends. Hold on. I have allergies. I can barely breathe. My wig's a little itchy right now. I'm feeling a little like I have a horse tail on my head. Let me take a water break. I'll get back to you. All right, what I was saying about the perfume sample, let me make sure my wig's not crooked, is that um, if you know there's certain scents in there you love, I think it's worth it. But even if you don't, if you're adventurous and you're not too picky about scents, like I'm not, I just want to smell good, I love little kits like that. So those are the two kits that I'm excited to try. Um, ooh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Eyeshadow Palette. I do have that on my list and I'll probably be picking that up. I'm trying to wait to see if it goes on sale, but even if it doesn't, I'll still probably be picking that one up. And I think that's it from Sephora. I've been doing a lot of damage at Sephora lately. Hold on, let me double check, but I think that's all I have on my list 
from Sephora. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? There were two biggies in there. First on my list, the Fenty, Fenty Beauty Galaxy Eyeshadow Palette. I did not pick that up when it first launched because I was out of town. I was working. I wanted to pick it up when it first launched. Then I just honestly kind of forgot about it. But now I've been hearing so many mixed reviews about it. If any of you have tried that palette, let me know. That's also another pricey one. I feel like palettes in general are just going up in price. It's $59. So I'm waiting to see if that goes on sale before I pick that up. Um, you guys have to let me know if you've tried it down below. I hate when I film videos and I'm not looking at you guys. It just feels so awkward. But I had something else on my list that I cannot find. Uh, the Fenty Beauty. And there was one more thing from Sephora that I have on my list. I don't see it. So if I remember, I'll come back. Ah, I just remembered. It's the Sephora Collection eyeshadow palettes that everyone was raving about. I want the colorful one. Even if that doesn't go on sale, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to pick up everything. I'm going to go broke, friends. I'm going to go broke. So I'm really fingers crossed hoping that Sephora has good sales because when they have their sales, I tend to, that's when I buy like my high ticket items so I can get the most bang for my buck. Like right now is the Sephora VIB Rouge sale where you get 20% off and I've already spent a ton of money there. So for Black Friday, I'm hoping they have some good sales because whenever they have their good sales, that's the best time guys to get those high ticket items if you can afford it that you've been saving up for because you get the most money off. So that's what I like to do. Let's head on over to Ulta. Ulta, if you guys didn't know, I did this in my makeup. There's like a fly in here. Uh, I did this, there's like, I told you guys this and I think one of my recent vlogs, we currently have like fruit flies. If any of you know like home remedies or tricks to get rid of those, let me know. Like the only fruit we really leave out is bananas and they're not open, so I don't know where they're coming from. But tangent, if you didn't know, Ulta now carries Morphe, MAC Cosmetics, and Sephora also carries ColourPop, and it's just interesting to see all these like smaller brands being sold in Ulta and Sephora. So I already have the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette, which I love. If that goes on sale, if you're able to get a good Black Friday deal and you haven't tried that palette, thumbs up for me, highly recommend it. I did two videos on it. Um, when the day it launched, I'll leave a link to those down below. I know I always say I'll link things and I totally forget, but I'll try to remember. But um, I do want to pick up some of the Max Snowball collection. I feature that in my makeup quickie with Nikki. That's what I was telling you, um, where I do like makeup news and product reviews. I haven't picked up anything from that yet. I want to. Also, Ulta now sells Lime Crime. Like, this is crazy. Like, all these indie brands are starting to be sold at Ulta and Sephora. I love it. So the, there's a Lime Crime online only unicorn highlight palette that's $38. It looks super cool. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. It has like purple highlight, green, right up my alley. You know I love that wild stuff. <laughs> I feel like the stuff that most people would look at and be like, oh, like, I don't want to wear that. Where am I going to wear that? I'm like, oh, I could wear that to wash my clothes. Like, that's just how I think. Um, What else do I have on my list here? I honestly don't have that much from Ulta either. Yes, I do. Where's my list? My list is all over the place. I need to get better about making my list. I won't be picking up any of the Gigi Hadid collection. None of that is just calling my name. At all, let me know if any of you have tried that. Also, did you know Ulta now sells Dose of Colors? This is crazy. Something I'm definitely picking up from either Ulta or Sephora is the Urban Decay Cosmetics Heavy Metals Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. Urban Decay currently makes my favorite eyeshadows. They're not afraid to use color. They're not afraid to come out with glitters like the Moon Dust. Was it Moon Dust or Moonlight Palette? I did a video on that one. I love their stuff. I just love it. It's good quality. It's pigmented. I'll definitely be picking that up. Um, oh, wow. The Dose of Colors Hidden Treasure Palette has one star. I wonder why. Have any of you guys tried that palette? That's interesting. You know what? What's interesting is I've never tried a single thing from Dose of Colors. Not their lipsticks, their highlights, eyeshadows, nothing. I think I want to try finally the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Another company, every single thing I've tried from them, I don't really like. I don't know why. I've tried their bronzers. I've tried their foundations. I don't really like their eyeshadows. I feel so bad. I'm trying to find something from Too Faced that I really like. If you guys have any favorites from Too Faced that you love, leave them in the comments down below. Their Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is very, very highly rated. So I'm going to pick that up because I want to find something from Too Faced that I like. 
All right, so I thought I would share with you also some products that I already currently own, but I'm hoping they go on sale, fingers crossed, because I want to give these as Christmas gifts to family and friends. First up, we have some makeup brushes from Real Techniques. This one is the Real Techniques All Over Brush. I showed this got into, uh, what? Why can I not talk? I showed this to you in a recent vlog. This is the biggest makeup brush I've ever seen. It's called the all over brush because you can use it on the face, the body, or the neck. I used it to put on foundation the other day. I wanna put it all over my face. It is the softest brush I've ever felt. It's the biggest brush, look at it. It like fit, almost takes up the whole size of my hand and I love it. So I'm hoping Real Techniques goes on sale either on their website or on Alta's website. I love this brush and I wanna give it to friends because I think everybody would love this. If you haven't touched this, guys, you have to touch it. It's like the softest brush ever. You guys know I love Real Techniques. I did a full review video on their faux blue collection. I'll leave a link to that down below. This is their Instapop Eye Duo brush set. So in this one, you get the Instapop crease brush and the Instapop shade brush. Two staples, I already actually own these. Um, Real Techniques, full disclosure, did send these to me, but you guys know I've loved them for years. I've featured them on my channel for years, so loving these a lot. Next up, I really hope this goes on sale because this is pricey. This is the Black Up Cosmetics Foundation Brush. You can get this on their website or you can get it at Sephora. I don't think you can get it in Sephora. I think you have to buy it online. This brush retails for 50 or $51. It's pricey and it's very small. Like look at it size wise compared to the Real Techniques. Like the Real Techniques brush is huge, but then the Black Up Cosmetics brush is super small. This thing puts on so much makeup with so little product. I put like half a drop, half the amount that I usually use a foundation on this brush or I put it on my hand to pick it up. It will cover like almost my entire face but for sure half of my face it's so soft it's very densely packed and the little like hairs work like magic i save so much product by using this brush at first i was like this thing is not worth 50 bucks now i'm like this thing is worth every penny i really love it i really love that brush i've been talking to you guys about this perfume for a while now this is the yves saint laurent beauty black opium perfume this is what the box looks like and this is in pure illusion this little well it's not little this perfume is big this is three ounces um it smells amazing it's long wearing it's like a deep musk vanilla roasted chestnut i don't know it doesn't smell like roasted chestnuts it has like a vanilla bergamot scent it smells so good but it is pricey so i really want this to go on sale so i can send this to my mom i probably shouldn't have said that because my mom watches every single one of my videos but if it goes on sale girlfriend it's all yours if it doesn't it's not all yours <laughs> You'll have to use mine because it's pricey, but it smells good. Another one that I currently own that I'm hoping maybe I can get it, fingers crossed, because Yves Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent Beauty doesn't go on sale. Like they don't, they just don't do that. It's a high-end brand, but sometimes you can get high-end brands, as you guys know, from Sephora. So this is the All Hours Primer, and it has broad spectrum SPF 18. It helps me to stay matte. It has sunscreen in it, which is a thumbs up. It's comfortable. Doesn't give me a white cast. You guys know I love their packaging, and it comes in their traditional gold box. I love it. It just looks so like posh i love it what was that like posh um so i'm hoping maybe i can get that through sephora because that's another one i want to give to a friend who has super oily skin like i do and then lastly i know this is probably a pipe dream because i don't think cosmetics has sales actually i think they've given me a discount code before no they haven't what am i talking about so i don't know i don't know if they're gonna have a sale but this is the cosmetics bio shape firming face mask I've been using this. This helps to plump my skin, and I feel like after just two times of using it, it's actually like firmed my skin. I don't know if I'm losing my mind. You use this at night, and I actually go to sleep with it on. Um, it says to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, but I leave things on all the time overnight. It, oh, it actually says you can use it AM or PM. It says for a plump and more lifted and sculpted appearance. It works. I love it. It's pricey, but it's worth every penny. Every single thing I've tried from that brand, I really like. So thumbs up for me. So 
that is my 2017 Black Friday wish list. I feel like this was all over the place. I'm just sharing you, with you guys what I have on my list right now. Let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be picking up. I'm going to be doing a couple of Black Friday videos, like deals that I find. Um, I'm thinking of even doing like a tech wish list because I love like cameras and gadgets and like lights and everything. So let me know in the comments down below what sales you're excited for. Don't forget to check out the videos on the screen. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Bye.